Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the third grade concept of fractions, especially how we can make equivalent fractions using pictures or pictorial models, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So first let's take a look at this word equivalent. Just to make sure we understand what it means, it looks an awful lot like equal, and if you can look real close you can actually see the word equal in there. So equivalent it's just another word for equal. We are looking for fractions that are equal. How can two fractions have different numbers but be equal? That's our question. And we're going to start out with something pretty simple. So I'm going to draw a circle. And I am going to simply shade it in half. And so this is one fraction that we have here. This is one half. Let's make sure we understand why this is one half. Because our top number is our numerator. So that is the number of pieces that are shaded. Right now we have one piece shaded. And then we have the bottom number, which is the denominator. Always tells you how many pieces there are, how many total pieces there are. So we have one out of two total pieces shaded. But... Remember when we are dealing with equivalent fractions, we're not changing the amount shaded. We are simply changing the size of the pieces. So you see, I'll cover it one more time, that I've got this white section right here. This is one half. Now let's see what happens when I cut that half into half. I'm going to take a red pencil here, and I'm going to take my half and cut it directly in half. Now notice I did not change the amount shaded. If we're talking about equivalent fractions, then the amount cannot change. What I'm doing is I'm taking each half and I'm cutting it into halves. So now we've got four equal pieces. I'll outline them in red here. And so you see one half is equivalent or equal to two fourths. Because as you can see now, the same white piece that was one half, now I can draw over it a little bit and it's the exact same as two-fourths. So this is one way that we can make an equivalent fraction. We can take a fraction and we can cut that fraction in half. Now you can't just cut the shaded part in half, you have to cut all the way across the entire fraction. But one half is the exact same shaded amount as two-fourths. You just have a different numerator and a different denominator. Notice though that the fraction is one half and two is half of four. Can we do it again? Well, I've got four pieces now. Can I cut each of those four pieces into half? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut all the way across. I'm going to make diagonals right here. And you see that I took each of the four pieces and I cut each of those pieces in half. Let's outline in green to make sure we understand what we have now. Now this portion over here is four pieces that was shaded in. And the other portion is now eight pieces. So once again, I'm not changing the amount shaded. I'm just cutting it into smaller and smaller pieces. So it looks like 4 eighths is the same. Let's see. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, I've got 4 eighths is the same as 2 fourths is the same as 1 half. Now some of you might have noticed that we almost have a pattern going across our fractions across the bottom. The numerators are 1, 2, 4, and the denominators are 2, 4, 8. It almost seems as if we're missing a 1, 2, 3, and a 2, 4, 6. 3 sixths. Let's see if we can draw 3 sixths. I'm going to have to make a new circle for this. My other one's kind of messy. I'm going to cut it up into sixths. So the easiest way to do that is to Cut it in half like this, and then draw kind of a fat X. You don't want just a regular X. It needs to be kind of a fat X. If you do that, you can get six pieces. And this is supposed to be three, six, so I'm going to shade in three of them. I'll go and put them on the same side so we can just keep track of what's going on. And yes, take a look at this. One, two, three. So three sixths is the same as one half, two fourths, and four eighths. Remember that these fractions are still equal even if the pieces are in different positions and they're not necessarily touching each other. I redrew them over on the right and I mixed up the pieces, but they're still equivalent fractions.